Alright guys, so you have now got the new version of Smart, version 7, that has just arrived in the world. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to go through the upgrade process uh, from version 6 until version 7. We're just going to walk through the step. So, as you can see the icons on the bottom right, so we're going to upgrade from a version, so in this case version 6, to the latest which is in this case is version 7 so what you're wanting to do is this is version 6.3 in this case as you can see all my databases in there I just log into one of them um, let's say for example let's go into the example conservation area smart smart and I left click login Okay, so I've logged in. Here's my example conservation area. I go file and I back up the system. Okay, so it's going to ask me, it's going to immediately create a pathway to version 6 and a backup folder. I just say backup because it, there's a backup folder there. If the backup folder is not there, it will create it for you. Now, also, you need to remember is that in my conservation areas, all the plugins have been installed. This is an important piece of information because when it comes to the version 7 or any version beyond 7, you need to first log into the example conservation area and actually go through the process of installing all the plugins, which we will do, I will show you in a few moments. Okay, so as you can see that the system backed up was successful, there's the file, I say OK, and I can actually exit version 6. So I go to my file explorer, I left click on my C drive and I locate where my smart version 7 is. So I double click the application file to run. If you get this, just say more info, you say run anywhere. Um, as you can see, you will have the smart example conservation area. So always log into that one first with the username and password smart smart. Um, you first have to do this in order to make sure that the plugins are installed. So file, install new plugins. You click this little drop down arrow. You'll see there's more options this time, but this is the one, the core update site. Uh, we click that. I'm going to select all because I know that in my previous one, all of my plugins were selected. And we click next. Now you're going to walk through this process now. So you'll accept... Um, all the various questions that they're going to ask you. So here's all the ones that are going to be installed. You say next and you accept the conditions and finish. So you'll see at the bottom left hand corner here, the processing will, will tell you how far along it is. If you want to click that, you can see it in a bigger toolbox. Um, and then you will also be prompted to install anyways. Okay, so here you see there's a security warning and you just say install anywhere. I think there'll be about three of these. Uh, that's the second one you install anywhere. 81% done. Okay, so what it's going to do is ask you to restart. So you restart. Um, we'll kick you out, come back in. Okay, so from the login screen, you're going to now click the advanced option. And you're going to see here upgrade and or restore backup so you click that option and continue are you sure you want to continue and you say yes so enter username and password so because of the example one it's it's going to be smart smart and it's fresh and because it's a fresh installation in this case you don't need to back up that um, so browse to the backup file that you created. So mine is on 6301 in the backup folder and today's date, which is this one here. And I left click open and I say restore. Now it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna start extracting all the information from that zip folder and we'll see what happens. So what it's gonna ask you, do you want to upgrade and install? Yes, so it's just helping you to make sure that you're making the right choice. Um, It'll just tell you that the intelligence plugin is no longer associated. That's fine.
Okay, so what it's going to tell you, there's some warnings that have been detected. Uh, this is just being upgraded, etc. So version 1 to 2, so the backups will be included. So that's fine. You just say, okay, nothing to worry about. So now it's just finishing up, restoring the backup files. Okay, so restore is being complete. The system will now restart. You say, okay, I'll kick you out, come back in. Okay, so now you can click on your arrow. There you can see all my conservation areas. I'm gonna log into one of them just to have a look and show you guys. And there we go, system being restored and upgraded.